All right, now it's time to get started on what I call the Reno Roadmap of the banjo. And basically all I'm gonna do is walk from one chord to another to get you familiar with these positions. And these positions are real simple, um, but these are the walk-ups and things that Don used to get the, uh, to do the tunes that he did over the years, especially his backup work and the slower tunes. So let's get started. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in a D position, and I'm gonna walk up from this D position to a barred D position. And we're going to be on the first and second strings. I'm going to be holding down uh, part of the D chord first. And we're going to do like this, uh, one, two, one, two on the first and second string. So like that. All right, it's very simple. I'm sure you've heard that kind of stuff before. Things like that. Don used that and Earl used it a lot. Many things you can do there, but um, the main thing is to get this uh, walk up. And you can go backwards the way you came up there. Okay. Now, this is an important thing that you need to learn about. Reno style is Don would flat his fingers across two strings instead of using two fingers like I did there. So instead of Don would do and flat his fingers across the string. So and you can do both ways. Uh, Don used both, but it depends on whether you do the brush technique or not. So. Instead of starting here at the D position, like I showed you, you can start up here at the bar D position on the third and second strings. It's the same notes. Like that. And I'm just going to start there instead and then do the walk up. Alright. And as with most of Reno's playing, you can move this walk up anywhere on the neck. So you can start from a D position here and walk up to this barred position. So like that. Anywhere on the neck. You do all kinds of things. But the reason why I was saying learn how to do it uh, by flatting your fingers across the strings because Don used these particular um, walk-ups when he used his brush technique. So, so you can do that. But the basic walk-up is okay. It's really simple. Um, I'll show you another walk up here from a D position to a barred position. This time we're going to be, we're still going to be using partial, a partial chord from your D chord. And we're going to do the fourth and second strings this time. And we're going to use that partial position and move up. And it's pretty much the same walk up, same frets. Now, this may sound familiar to you if you've ever heard Carry Me Back to Old Virginia. Alright, that's that same walk up. Except for he's pinching all the strings. Uh, well, the third, or the fourth, and the second, and the first, I'm sorry. Like that. But that's the basic walk up. And again, you can move that from one D position to the bar anywhere on the neck. So there I'm doing it in G. And you can also pinch the first ring on that too. Like that. So 
there are some positions from uh, D, a D position to a bar position. And these partial chords I'm using, especially in the brushing, are called double stops. And just mess around with those walk-ups. You know, you can do some pulling off. Okay, things like that. I'll show, an, show you another walk up or walk down actually to a seventh chord and we're going to use a barred seventh position. And actually I'm hitting and I'm doing a seventh position there. Very simple, and again, you can do it anywhere on the neck. And go into the next chord. All right, now I'm going to move to an F position to a D position. All right. Well, before I do that, I want—I just thought of an interesting uh, lick that Don did using the D uh, positions that we—that I just showed you. And. Not many banjo players use this lick for some reason, um, but it goes like this, and it's kind of an electric guitar lick. I've heard a bunch of um, dobro players use that. Josh Graves used to use a lick kind of like that, and we're using those same positions I just showed you. All I'm doing is sliding into that barred position that we did. So, whoops, like that. And I think the first time I heard Don do this was in um, uh, Talk of the Town, that's what it was, and he did it in the G position, so. And you can add in uh, the pinches as well. I've heard electric guitar players do this lick too, so. Alright. Alright, let's move on to the F position to a D position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be holding down partial F position uh, on the third and first strings. It's directly out of your F position. And I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to change positions to catch this seventh uh, barred seventh that we talked about, but I'm only on the first and third strings. I'm only hitting partial chords and up to this D position, D position G here. So I'll do that again slow. And for all of these partial uh, walk downs and things, we're using partial chords. There's a whole chord uh, walk down as well, so you can mess around with that and figure that out. It's like this. And the reason why I'm, I'm these walk downs, I've kind of simplified them so that you can get an idea of where you're going. Um, Don used a lot of these partial chords to do things like. Uh, You know, just to do back up and in breaks. See, see how that works? He's using these partial chords. So, go back to this F position. Again, you can pinch these chords or you can do the one, two. Uh, deal. Like that. Okay. Now, also, you can do that same lick that we did here on these positions, and you can start from uh, this 
D position here and go back. So use those positions, but do this. It's the same notes. Like that. So work on those positions and work on. First of all, one of the main things you need to do is learn where every chord is on the neck. And especially if you're going to play without a capo like Don did. Learn where every chord is so you know where these positions are, your chords are, and where to start from. So... Things like that. Now this particular uh, walk-up is a... Um, you're going to do a whole chord... And we touched on this in I Know You're Married. We just walk down this barred seventh to your D chord, so. Okay. Now another F position to a D position is on the second and first strings like this. Okay, and all I'm doing is very simple, um, just on the first two strings. Coming up and grabbing that partial G position. So you could do those chords. Let's show you how it all ties in. Now another um, walk down that Don does is the Dixie Breakdown walk walk down, and we're going to be walking from an a barred, a barred position to a D position and it goes like this alright and that's um, just that barred seventh to a C chord to your G so and Dixie Breakdown uh, we went over that roll it's forward and then back with your first finger song goes to C, you just start it over in your barred position. Back to G. Alright. And that is the exact same thing that he does in Banjo Special where he runs through E, A, and D. those positions and now we're on the subject of, of Dixie Breakdown I'll show you a little something that most people don't do in Dixie Breakdown but Don did this he didn't do it on his original recording but he did do it a lot in his live shows and things like that and when you're doing Dixie Breakdown you do this G G7 uh, G well when you go to the C Hammer on right here on the uh, tenth fret. So so you're hammering on It's a little tricky to get the timing right. something extra Don did in Dixie Breakdown in later years but um, these basic positions that I've shown you um, they're very simple but like I said these are the same positions Don uses to do many of his backup things um, Alright, 
So the walk-ups that I've shown you, like I said, are just simple versions of these things. So don't be afraid to mess around and grab other double stops while you're doing these, like... Uh, stuff like that. Alright. I'll show you some more walk-downs here. Uh, some of Don's uh, creative genius at work. And it's one of his favorite licks that he did. I, th I don't think I've ever heard him not do it on an album. Um, actually, he only started doing this uh, in the late or the early or late 50s or early 60s. He started doing this lick, but after he started it, he did it on just about every album. And it goes like this. Like that. And I'm sure you've heard that many times. And we're using those same partial positions that we did before, like this one. Alright, but I'm doing this. And this walk down is pretty much just walking from a F position to a barred 7th position. So we're going to walk from this D to this D, D7. And we're using those positions that we use like this. So start here and you're doing a partial F position. And the way you do this lick is the notes are actually hitting that partial C back to your G, uh, partial G position to that D7. Now, it would be really tough to do this lick real fast and try to single string that with uh, individual fingers like, well, it's kind of hard to do it. Okay, well Don just kind of slid into those three notes. He went like this. Alright, so you can slide into it. Using your middle finger. anywhere on the neck. You can do it uh, starting at any F position. You know. So and he used that lick a lot and I mean a lot so you need to learn that one if you want to play Reno style. I'll show you another um, walk down that Don did and it's using that partial um, chords or, or actually flatting your fingers across the frets. Alright. What he's going to do here, this is a brush uh, lick. You could actually use these positions though uh, with individual uh, fingers, your thumb and your first. And what I'm doing is I'm going to be running from a barred seventh or barred position D to this D seventh position down here. So the way this lick goes is like this. I'll try to do it. It's tough to slow down, but all right. And this is tough to slow down, so you know, be sure to check your tab to get it just right, but. It's really hard to explain, but those are the double stops I'm hitting. And what I'm doing is kind of like the Chuck Berry lick that we talked about. I'm coming back up with the first finger when I'm brushing. Pull off, it's a double stop pull off. And that little lick there.
there should sound familiar to, to you if you listen to Don a lot. All right. Now this is a, a complicated version of a walk down that Don does. Don, um, let's see if I can give you an example here. Things like that, that's a little simpler uh, version of it. What he's doing is he's backing up to this E minor, like we said in the chord section, you can play um, an E minor against the G chord, and that's out of your D position, so you use that, that E minor position. So, like I said, mess with this stuff and flat these, these notes. Okay. But this... Uh, lick. I want to go back to this and make sure you get this because it is a, it's a signature Reno lick, and it's uh, I've never heard anybody else do it but Don and a few others like Alvin Breeden and myself, and um, it's a and Don Wayne of course he does it, but and it's really tricky. Um, you got to get that timing just right with your thumb and your first finger. Do these pull-offs okay and do it anywhere on the neck and that's just part of that walk down that I showed you in the chord part all right um, all right I think we, we got that I, I, I want to make sure I want to make sure that you got that like I said, that's I've had a lot of requests for people to uh, for me to show them that lick, and I'll do it again. I'll try to do it slow. I'm doing double uh, double stop pull offs on that third and second strings. And, and playing it slow like that, I think you can get it. Okay, here's a simple walk-up that Don does, and he does this uh, similar lick in using my Bible for a roadmap, like this. All right. Well, Don does this a lot. All right, and that's really simple. I'm just hitting the strings open because I'm playing in G first. Using a partial F uh, position, notes here, out of your F chord. Like that. Now, you can move this anywhere on the neck as well, but you have to start, if you're going to play uh, that particular walk down or walk up in C, um, you need to hit the C notes first, like if you had a capo on. So, or you can start it up here. These are the same notes on your fourth and third string. So you can start it here. Things like that. So, you know, this is just a simple, all of these little walk-ups and things are all part of Don's playing that he does. And it's up to you to put these things together. You can combine these different double stops, brushing, uh, doing the one-two, uh, finger work there you know that's like talk of the town um, there's that different walk-ups I've been showing you and walk-downs are really how he came up with Talk of the Town, the break there. So, Alright, seeing that this is a very good example, so I will go over this 
uh, part of this uh, kickoff of Talk of the Town. Um, let's see. Uh, see, he's grabbing these different chord shapes. So that's just like the lick I showed you earlier where I'm walking down to that uh, D seventh barred position. So, and this part here, again we're using partial chord positions, and those are the same positions I showed you here on this walk up. So, comes up here and grabs that C position. Here comes uh, the minor chords I showed you from the chord part. That's those two minor positions in your F position and in your D position. Like that. And here's that other lick that I showed you. Uh, You can add pinches in, like I said. All right. Well, that's it for uh, the Reno roadmap section, I guess. Uh, there's many more. There's endless combinations to this. Um, but these simple exercises will get you familiar with what's going on and how he's doing it. And it's going to be up to you to uh, decipher his breaks and things like that. Um, again, it's hard for me to show you every single break that Don did, um, so I wanted to come up with a way to, to show you how he came up with it himself, and that way you learn these positions and get familiar with them, and you'll be able to figure out uh, just about any of Don's tunes uh, yourself. So I wanted to give you the tools that you need to figure these things out. So, you know, learn these positions and start messing around, uh, adding in other pull-offs and double stops and brushing and rolling, and uh, you'll be well on your way to playing Reno style. <laughs>